y'all, it's Kathy, and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got for you a Tamu haul. I'm really excited to get into this haul. I have already looked at everything and priced everything. Well, hello. He's a good boy. You just want to know what I'm going to get into, don't you? Because you think it's yours and you want to eat it. <laughs> If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if you are new here, thank you for joining us. I would love for you to stick around. So if you haven't already, hit the subscription button and the bell notification so you can be notified when I do upload a new video. And if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's just get into this haul. Okay, the first thing, I have already looked at everything because I priced everything. Now keep in mind, Timu prices do change. They are a marketplace where there are thousands of vendors wanting to get your business. So prices are always changing. Now, if you do purchase something and it goes up on sale on the website, then they will credit you back that difference and that will be credited back to your account. That's where you go in and you get your price adjustments. That's what I absolutely love about Tamu is the price adjustments. They do offer free returns as well as Klarna, Afterpay, PayPal, all major credit cards. But I will have a link down in the description that will save you some money, 30% off if you are a new app user and a 100 coupon bundle. Now, if you are a returning user, you will also get that $100 coupon bundle. So let's see what this first item is. This first item was, I did not price it. Why didn't I price it? I have the price listed here. Um, I thought I priced everything. I may not have priced these because I was trying to decide if I wanted to return them. They are a little bit more cheaply made. Now I did get them in a size, an eight and a half. They do have, let me show you, the quilted bottoms here, which I think that's really nice. They, I do like the color. There is like a little bit of a pattern on the front part of it. That's really nice. They're really, they're really lightweight. Um, they just feel cheaply made. Like they're not gonna last long is what they feel like. So, I wasn't too sure if I was going to keep them or return them. I still haven't decided yet. I like the color. I just don't think they're going to last that long. The bottom of the sole, there is a texture on the bottom of the sole, but it is really slick. And if y'all know me, I already have a problem with walking in flip-flop style sandals. So I'm not even sure why I ordered flip-flop style, but I, I ordered flip-flop style. I do prefer the ones that have the back around the heel of them because I will just step, I'll be walking along and the flip-flops will just fall off and I won't even know that they fell off. I'll just keep walking because of the neuropathy. neuropathy. So I'm not sure why I did do that, but these are probably going to be going so, how has everybody been doing? I've been doing a lot better than I was. You know, I was sick there for a couple of weeks with that illness that got me. And my throat still is a little bit scratchy, but I am feeling better. Let's see what else is in this bag. This is some chonies. I think that I got five pairs of... Um, ladies underwear for $5.99. That's a really great deal. I did get these in an XXL. I think I did that based on the measurements. Uh, they do look really well put together. They are a cotton filling. The band is really nice. They have uh, more of a cotton in the gusset area. You know, I've been on a weight loss journey, so I've been going down in my clothing sizes. So this time I did 
go into the straight sizes and get the XXL. I think these are gonna work really good. You do get a beige pair, a pink pair, black pair, another, I guess a darker, maybe this is khaki and this is the beige, and then like a blue pair. So I think these are gonna look, be really great. Five pairs for $5.99. Heck yeah, that's an awesome deal. <laughs> Let's see, I want to see what the material is. 95% cotton and 5% elastane is what the material is. Awesome deal. I love it. Okay, the next thing I did purchase was some mascara. The last time I purchased some mascara from Tamu, it was a fiber mascara. And I did like it. It was waterproof, but and it was very difficult to get off. Very difficult. So this time I wanted to try a, something different. This is called Honey Whisper. I got it in the in the color black, and it was a dollar seventy nine. I did already try this on. I have it on right now. I do like it. It is a thin 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 brush but the one thing that i found when i was using it and it did come wrapped in a plastic and i don't know if you're going to be able to see it but i'm going to try to show it because it's hard to get out of the little bottle and i think there is a teeny teeny lash or fiber sticking out there and I think that's why it's so hard to get out of the bottle is it's getting hung up there. But you can see the brush is very, very thin. Very thin. But it made it a lot easier to get the bottom lashes. And it did give me a good length and color as well. I really do like it because, you know, I am a redhead. So I do have lashes. You just can't see them. And of course, I wanted to try the black color. Let's tell y'all, I did color my lashes. I did darken them, but I just used a black eyeliner pencil that I had. And it, I did look different. It looked weird. I didn't try it with a black wig. I'm gonna surprise y'all with my Halloween costume and not tell y'all what wig I chose until Halloween. If y'all have not seen that wig haul, I will have it listed down in the description below. And y'all tell me what you, wig you think I should wear for Halloween. But I did not try it with the black wig. I kind of wish I had have tried it with the black wig just to see what it looked like with the black wig. Because, of course, with the red hair, it looked very strange. <laughs> but I do recommend this. I just think that that little bristle sticking out there, I'm just going to kind of trim it off. I like this. I like this a lot. It doesn't say anything about waterproof. So, it's not waterproof. But that's fine with me. Because, uh, like I said, that one that I had gotten before, man, it was so difficult to get that off. This. It's a repurchase, which I do have on my lips now. It is a lip plumping oil. The one that I normally do purchase, they discontinued that one, so I had to go on the hunt for it again from another supplier. And the only one I could find was this Duo one, and I picked this up for $3.99. Apparently, there is a daytime one and a nighttime one now. It's just an oil, but I do like how it makes my lips feel. I like how it makes my lips look. I'm curious to know if it's the same one that I do have. Yes, it is. This one's for the daily use. And then this one is the nighttime one. I really love this stuff. It does have a little bit of a burn on your lips. It's infused with ginger. The daily one is infused with ginger 
and the nighttime one is infused with menthol. <laughs> I'm excited to try the nighttime one out because this is the first time that I have gotten the duo, but I do love the daily one and I highly recommend this. This next one, I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet, floating around on social media about it, and it I picked it up for $2.69. This is not what I thought it was. I thought this was something else. But apparently, I got a little bit brave. This is retinol placenta cream. This isn't what I thought I was picking up. I thought I was picking up something about dragon's blood. Maybe that's what that means. I don't know. It's a, it's a very small container. Here's, here's the size of the container. It's extremely small. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh. Oh. Okay, there's what the contents looks like. There's no smell. What was I thinking? It resembles spoiled milk to me. There it is on my skin. I don't know why I just did that. It's not very moisturizing. I, there's, there's, there's like no change. There's no change at all. I don't know what I was thinking. And whose placenta is it that, oh lordy. I can't think about that. The first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is mineral oil. And then a bunch of other stuff that I could probably pronounce, but I personally don't want to. Okay, I just went back and looked. This does say dragon's blood on the website, and it's supposed to be moisturizing and make your skin feel really soft and elastic, improve elasticity. I just don't know. Put a little more on and see. I just don't know. Maybe I'll play around with that for a little bit and then give y'all an update in a later video because I just don't know. It does say Dragon's Blood on the website. It's not very big. It can't be no more than an ounce, ounce and a half, maybe. No, an ounce. So more makeup wise, I picked this up for $1.79 and it is a lipstick and lip liner matte finish that's how big the lip liner is you see from my hand it's waterproof and long lasting and all it says is i picked it up in the shade 11. you know i don't wear lipstick that often but there is the lip liner it went on really smoothly it didn't skip or anything I don't know, it might be too dark for my skin tone. There's the lipstick. It might be maybe too orange. I don't know, I'll play around with that and see as well, but I do like the colors. I do like the color orange. I love the color orange. I just always think, does it clash with my hair? It's what I feel like it clashes with my hair. This next item I got to purchase for my Halloween wreath that I'm going to make for myself. It is a mummy. I picked it up for $5.57. Now, when I was inspecting everything, I did find that my mummy came broken. It came in a, the box, this is just how the box came. But I was so disappointed because I was really, and I expected it to be small. I did read the instructions, the dimensions of it, so I knew that the mummy was going to be small. But his little hand came broken off. So I did contact Tamu, and they did tell me just to keep the mummy, and they refunded me. And I told them just to put it in my credits. 
So, that was really disappointing. But I, my ideal is I wanted it to be, um, I wanted them to be swinging in the reef. We'll get to that in another video, but that was my ideal that I wanted for the mummy was the, he's swinging in the, the middle of the reef. I thought that would be really, really cute. Cause he's so, he's so cute. Just look at that face. He is so cute. A swinging mummy ghost. <laughs> it is ceramic type material. I have already been decorating for Halloween. Has anybody else already been decorating for Halloween? I kept, I am keeping my fall decor up. I'm just kind of decorating for Halloween around it because I'm so excited. Halloween is my birthday, so of course I'm excited. Halloween is the start of the fresh candy season. It just starts at Halloween for some reason. Halloween, Christmas, and then Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, um, Valentine's Day, Easter. Those are when you're gonna find the freshest candy is around the holiday. The holiday candy is so fresh, and I have to stay away from it. I also picked up a couple of ornaments. These ornaments were less than a dollar, and I'm actually going to send these to a friend but I'll go ahead and show them on here. I think they're adorable. They are acrylic. It's a little witch. I thought she was just so cute holding a little lantern with her little bat ears. <laughs> so cute, so adorable. I actually thought this one was 3D. But that's okay. She's still cute. I don't want to take her out of the package because she is sealed. But I thought they also needed a spicy redhead witch. So I picked up this one. You can see it. Little redheaded witch. Little ginger witch with the pumpkins. I thought she was so adorable. So cute. and I hope they really like them. Okay, this is a pendant that I picked up. There were other choices to choose from. This is the one that I chose from. This is a dollar thirty-a, and I will probably wear it on Halloween. I'll probably wear it before Halloween too, because I really do like bats. They're so cute, so adorable. Now this, it comes with like a, was it a, a cord type necklace? And it does look like it's a pretty good, decent size. I might would go ahead and put the extender on because I don't like things to be up too close to my neck. I mean, it's not too bad, but I would probably still put the extender on. It doesn't come with an extender. I just have an extender. And then the pendant is a bat and I love the colors of it. So pretty. Look how pretty that is. It is metal and then this, this part's metal and then this part is like acrylic. So pretty. I'll try to get some, um, photos of some bats while I'm up on the mountain because you can always see them. You can always hear them whenever the sun is going down. Sometimes I'm not that fast, so I probably should just set the camera up and let it roll. Then I might get some. But this is really nice and I, I do like the uh, cord necklace. It's really sturdy. Not like some of those other, the chain ones. I like this one a lot. And then I also needed to go down, si go down a size in my girdle. So I picked up another one. I picked this up for $9.07. This is different than from the ones that I have. I picked this up in a size 0XL. It does have the Hook and eye closure in the gusset area, and the gusset area is a 
like a cotton material. This one, it is a below your bust and it has the crisscross. And then this is the back. The bottom part is a little bit more sheer and it's got the ruching, give you the nice butt lift. So we shall see how this one goes. I like that. This is going to be super nice because my other one, it doesn't really do anything anymore. It's too big. Okay. Okay, you guys. I did pick up some more hair pieces. It is so hard um, knowing what color you should get because the colors sometimes they look different online than what they actually are. The color is 17C is what it says, but it's like a, it's a ginger or a light auburn or, but it's a little bit more of an orange. It's a ponytail. So it's got the two hooks you, that you hook around your ponytail and then the drawstring for you to tighten it up with. It's really long. It is shiny. You can take a dry shampoo and spray on them and it will kind of get rid of that, that shine. It does have the water wave curls in it. I like it, but it's not my hair color. So what I think I'm going to do is try to color it and make it of a, a darker color. We'll try that in a vlog sometime, maybe closer to Christmas. I will be doing Vlogmas. I'm going to do a, a Christmas gift idea series. Maybe open um, some advent calendars. Maybe we'll try coloring this in the process. I will be showing some of the ceramic pieces during the Christmas holiday because there's nothing more special than receiving a personalized gift or a gift that you created for somebody. They will love it and cherish it forever, forever. I did do some of those pieces last year. I plan on doing, doing the same thing again this year because it's just, it's a magical time of the year and I can't wait to share some of the gift ideas that I have. This next hair piece, again, I really wanted to love this one. However, I'm gonna have to color my hair darker as I've gotten older. My red hair is lightening up. I am getting, I don't know if you wanna call them gray hairs or white hairs, I don't know, but I see them. And so, <clears throat> I may need to just color my hair. So I picked this one up. This one is a little bit more curlier, a lot like my my natural hair. I picked this one up for $4.49. It came with a hair net. Okay, this one is a little bit more curlier, much like my own natural hair. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit darker than what I my hair actually is. It does have the two clasp, two clasp at your ponytail. I don't know if you can see it. There's one of them. And then it has the drawstring to tighten it up with. I have to do a little bit of practice with these because I've not mastered putting these on. I would have preferred maybe it be the clampion. I say I might have preferred it be the clampion, but I think the clampion might have the clamp itself might have been too heavy for my hair. So I'll just have to practice with this. I really like this one a lot. Even though it's darker than my own color that my color is now. My hair used to be this color. I really like this one a lot. I can't remember. I'll leave the price list over here to the side. I needed some coasters for my new tables that I've gotten. So... It comes with eight. You can choose from four or eight. And it also comes with the wire 
casing or holder to keep them in. There's two gray, two black, two gray and white just lighter colors, and then two gray and white darker colors. I needed these for my new tables because I don't want nobody messing up my new tables. I almost forgot this. And then I remembered, wait a minute, there was something that I wanted to see. I haven't bought any of Tamu's jewelry, and I'm not even sure why, so I grabbed something. And it looks really, really pretty. Really pretty. I grabbed some earrings. Now, I typically don't like, like, the post earrings. I like the ones that have to go through, and then it just sh shuts, or... But the ones with the backing on them, it's really difficult for me to put those on. Like, imp like impossible. I can't do it. I was looking for some, and I came across these. Oh, oh my goodness. It's a metal, and it's almost like there's stones inside this mesh metal right here. I don't know if you can tell it. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, I don't know if I'll be able to get it in. Sometimes I have to get a little help. Because I've actually tried to make another earlobe, an ear hole in my ear. I'm not going to be able to get it on. I have to have a better mirror. I don't want to use my, I don't want to use the screen, but oh my goodness, they're so pretty. They are so, so pretty. Look at how beautiful. I don't know if you see about how big they are. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Those are going to be nice. These, I picked these up for a dollar eighty-five, and I, I am impressed. It's a good, sturdy, strong material. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm really impressed with these. I love them. Oh, those are gonna look nice for, I don't know, somewhere to go. <laughs> these next couple of items came in late, but I really wanted to include them in this haul. This is a. 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler for $11.48. It is so cute and so dainty and so adorable and I love how it almost makes it look like it has a 3D effect. It did come with the straw included. The mouth opening is easily opened and closed and it is a pop top lid making it easy to pop on and off. This next one is a spooky movie themed 40 ounce insulated stainless steel tumbler for $11.43. I saw several of these on Tamu's website that had gone up in price, but if you're patient and persistent, you can find a better deal. It does have a straw included and has the silicone entrance for it. I do find it difficult to get the straw. I do find it a little difficult to get the straw placement in the exact place I wanted when I'm screwing the lid on. But with a little adjustment, I am finally able to get it in the exact placement that I want it on. It does have silicone on the handle on the outside of the handle as well as on the inside of the handle. And the colors of this mug is so vibrant. Really excited. That's all I've got for you in today's video. Let me know what your favorite thing was and if you've tried any of their hair pieces yet. Let me know. I'm excited to hear about it. I do want to purchase some more wigs from Tamu. I did like their wigs a lot. I actually really want to purchase a human hair wig. That's what I really want to purchase. And I do want to get my... Um, coffee bar slash wine bar <laughs> but I am gonna wait to pick it up until after I get back from the holidays because I do want to put that together so that I can let you know how 
easy or how difficult it is for just myself to put it together and if I do have to get any outside help. So I, pro I am going to wait until I get back from the holidays to pick that up. Don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already and give me a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. And comment down below what your favorite thing was, if you've tried any of their hair pieces or wigs, or if you don't have nothing to comment at all, just leave me a heart emoji. I would love it. I thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you're having a great day and a great week. And if you're not, let's make it one. And I'll see you in the next one.